Hello all, uh, in this video, we are going to uh, develop a dogs management system in several parts of the later on videos as well. Um, in particular, this video will be able to help you to show how to set up the project, uh, write the configuration with the database connections and app, con app application properties, and set up a repository. We will write our um, model and controller classes. Okay, so in order to do this, you need to have Java 1.8 or later versions and Eclipse IDE with STS. Let's go to our Eclipse and create a Spring Boot project. called dog management system or dogs management system okay so group id artifact is same as the uh, name of the project and uh, description and i gave the package name as uh, dms you know click next so in this project, we are going to add all the dependencies. Uh, Spring Web, Spring Boot, uh, DevTools, and Time Leaf. These are the three things that we have already used. In addition to that, we will be using MySQL Driver and Spring Data JPA. Also in this, these two will be able to help you out to create the databases and able to work with database next and finish okay so now the spring boot docs management system has been here um, i would like to check pom.xml file so that uh, I want to know whether all the dependencies has been added clearly or not. We got JPA, we got time leaf, we got uh, Spring Boot Web, we got uh, DevTools and MySQL as well. And remaining things, JUnit and Spring Boot Startup Test is uh, a default ones what we'll be able to get. So we get all the um, dependencies. And when we get all the dependencies, so basically we have to work with our controllers and all that stuff right so let's go ahead and create a class called dog controller and you could name it as controllers here the package name would be dms under controllers under that we am using dog controller Okay, so this is my controller. And if you notice, you already have your, you know, main class here. So we are not going to do anything with that. And then we have to do our model. Okay, so it's good that you select this one. Write the model. You can write models. Our model is the our dog entity. Okay. I'm if you notice I'm using models and controllers as a different structure. It's just my preference. It's not mandatory that you have to use that. Okay. So we have done two and uh, I will also be doing with repository, okay? So for that repository, let me create interface first, okay? So that interface is nothing but dog repository. And the package name is repository, okay? So I'll explain you in just a second why I'm creating an interface and all that stuff. Okay, so click finish. 
in the dog repository so we know this is an interface okay so interface can extend other interfaces right so you could say extends third repository interfaces can extend CRUD uh, repository. So as you already know, um, this would be able to give us all the basic operations for the management system, which is create, read, update, and delete operations. Okay, so this is what we will be using. And this CRUD, oper CRUD repository should have a type and the type is of type dog okay so now import dog package dog class as well okay so if you look at here it is showing CRUD repository of type dog and ID there. Okay, so ID is nothing but by now you should be able to guess that is related to database. Exactly, that's true that this dog repository would be able to connect to your database. Okay, so usually in the JDBC we used to write select star you know, whatever the table, whatever the column that you want to write or insert values and all that stuff. So now it would be able to help you, this dog repository would be able to connect with the database and we would be able to get this automatically. You don't have to write all those commands. So now here, what we will be doing is, we will be using dog ID as our primary key. So I'm going to use uh, integer. As the key here. Okay, so we created an interface. This is our name, and we are extending CRUD repository of type dog because we are working on the dog. And what would be the primary key for the dog would be the dog ID of type integer. Okay, so you will be able to understand about this how we are going to work with this uh, later on in the later on videos. Okay, so now we, we have set up our repository. Okay, so save uh, this repository. So now we have set up our repository. In the dog, so we know this is a um, model, right? So for every model, what is the tag that we will be using? Which is entity. Okay, so entity tag we will be using. So just import entity. Okay, so Shall we go ahead and write our class with the private int id? Okay, so this id is nothing but our primary key that I already have mentioned. Private, let's go with the string name. String breed. Okay, so generate getter, setters, and two string method. This is a basic um, doc class that we normally write. Okay, so here what we need to do is we have to add another tag that tells this is my primary key for that we will be using at the rate id at the rate id annotates that re that represents that particular field is our primary key okay so but this is our primary key and in our dog repository as well we have written integer is our primary key okay so save that the dog as well okay and now in the doc controller, so we will be writing our controller methods. 
So since this is a docs management system, we will be adding dog, deleting dog, we will be modifying the dog or edit the dog and all that stuff, right? So we will be writing several controller methods, right? So in order to do that, so let's go ahead and write our a basic controller method, which would be public string. That is home return our home. Okay, so we have written our home. So what annotations that we have to write? Exactly, that's correct, which is controller. And then import that particular one. Okay, so what else we have to write here? We have to write our request mapping, right? So in order to do this, first of all, we need to know about our home, right? So what we'll be doing with the home is, which is a HTML file. So this project requires several um, HTML files. So I'm not going to uh, tell in detail about HTML files, how you would be creating. I already have it here in, in the views. Basically, I would copy all of that stuff and I would place under templates. I will provide you this um, in a URL uh, in this video description. If you look into that, you could be able to see. So where is this? Resources under templates. Okay, you could paste it here. Okay, maybe control V. If you do control V, you could see all these files has been pasted. Okay, so we are doing a step by step here. So we have our home.html. So usually you can write HTML or not required. Okay, so use request mapping. And this request mapping would have, it's up to me, dot home. Okay, so this is what we have done. And now what I want to show is, you could go to your MySQL workbench. If you haven't pinned to your, um, uh, here onto your desktop, so you could search here for your MySQL work, uh, workbench. Okay, so log in with your root password. Okay, so we already created pets database along with the pre-existing databases. So you can go to administration. So in the users and privileges, okay? So we already created demo user, you remember? And we have, I have given demo and uh, is a username and demos123 is my password. So I already created another user also, Bobby. Um, so, but you don't have to know that. Um, I created demo under the administrative roles you could check the DBA so that demo will be having all the roles of the DBA and then apply. Okay, so now it has been applied. Um, and then refresh. So you would be able to see demo user will be having all these things. So now in the pets, we have tables, right? I mean, do we have tables? We don't have tables here yet. So now do we have to create our doc table here or not? We don't have to create a doc table. So in the JDBC, normally we create table and we populate the tables. Here we are using Spring Boot. Our doc repo will be able to take care of all these things for us, okay? So for that purpose, let me run the project first, okay? Okay, so I want to do run as Spring Boot app. Okay, 
Okay. So look at the error message that I got. Failed to configure because I didn't uh, tell which database I'm using and all that stuff. Remember, MySQL's, MySQL Workbench is separate and I'm doing my Spring Boot project in Eclipse. It's separate. It's not yet connected. Where we have to do that? Which is true that we have to do it in the application.properties file. Okay. So for that also, I'm going to provide to you a application properties text. You need to control A, control C, and come to the application properties file and paste it here. Okay. So here you have a six lines of code. Uh, basically, you would be modifying this. Okay. I have my username demo and here demos one two three okay so this would be the password that i would be using and what you need to do is you have to mention your database name here okay so basically we are doing jdbc sql connection with our local host and mysql runs on this port and our database that we are using is pets. So username and password. And this is basically with JPA. So now this will be able to connect with JPA by using Hibernate, okay? So again, we are not even touching the Hibernate here as a conceptual wise, but inherently your Spring Boot STS has the capability of communicating with Hibernate. Whenever you are, whenever you are, you are looking into the database using Spring Boot, definitely it is with Hibernate. Okay, and all this stuff would be able to use for us with dog repository dot Java. Okay, so and I'll show you in just a second. So now save this. So relaunch the project, and we'll see if there are any errors. I don't know. There might be. I hope there are, it's good. It's surprised to me, there are no errors. Um, let's go and see our tables here. Okay. Okay, if you look at here, it's already created columns for you. Okay, even the table was created and you got columns also created. Okay, so which is ID, breed and name, which is what exactly that we have given in our doc class, right? Our entity has ID, name and breed, which would be able to see that. Okay, so um, this is one way that you could be able to see. If you want to see any values that are existing here, you could see that that would be able to get, um, basically you would be right clicking and select rows, okay? So in order to select rows, what would be the column that we write? Select star from dog, okay? So now you get the result grid here, there are no values, okay? So you could see that in the output also here. So that means without, we didn't create a dog, and we didn't even write our JDBC code like a select star from dog, but our Hibernate would be able to help us with that. For that, you could be able to see here in the dog controller with this. So we already have home here. Let's go ahead and write our dog home, which would be localhost 8080. Our mapping request is dog home. Okay, so this is my dog home that I would be able to see. Okay, so with this, we were, be, we were able to set up our app config, app application properties and all the uh, HTML files, which is time leave. Uh, and I will explain what's there in these HTML files in the later on videos. And we set up our project here. Okay, so make sure you set up all these before we continue with the later on videos, okay? So thank you so much.